it's September, which means it's a new month for uh, my Wednesday tips. The most requests I got were on um, joint issues. So I'm gonna spend a couple weeks on shoulders, then I'll hit knees and we'll finish off the month with um, the hip joint. So today we're gonna talk about the rotator cuff, which controls external and internal rotation. And um, it's that movement that people have the most problems with what um, is usually a result of a, a rotator cuff injury. So I'll show you some exercises today that can help strengthen that rotator cuff. And next week we'll deal with um, the safe zone for your shoulders whenever you have injuries or have had injuries and you're just a little bit reticent about working shoulders again. So I always have people start off on a shoulder day with internal or external rotations, most frequently external. That's where the most of the problems lie. The problem is that a lot of people, when they're doing these um, rotations, they're doing them wrong and not getting the full benefit of it. So when you're working your stabilizer muscles, you want to keep your elbow into your side. What I usually see people do is this. They're using a lot of weight, so they're trying to pull it out. And that's not the point. You want to go light if you're using a weight, especially. And if you're using a band, you don't want to be muscling it out. The point is just to get um, that muscle to activate. So you want to use a lighter band or a lighter, uh, lighter cable weight and take your time with it. So a good tip that you can use is to either roll up a towel or use a water bottle and stick it underneath your arm so that you have something kind of cueing you that you don't want to drop. So you take it and you pull it out to the side. It's just that much movement. You wanna have a little bit of resistance so you can feel that shoulder working, but not enough to where you're feeling like you've gotta um, really pull away from your body. So this is what your external rotation should look like. Okay, and then the internal rotation, you're taking it from a 90 degree angle out to the side and bringing it basically just to the midline of the body. You can bring it all the way across, that's fine, but you just wanna make sure that once again, your elbow is into your side, and if you have a mirror handy, make sure that you're not crooking your shoulders weird to pull it. You wanna stay um, in a um, squared position so nothing is lopsided and you're not pulling any joints, you're not using anything except for that rotator cuff to go inside and outside in that rotation. Now, if you're really babying your shoulder, maybe if you've just gotten over an injury or you're just really nervous about it, um, here are a few exercises you can do without any equipment. It's very gentle on your shoulder, but it still um, deals with that internal and external rotation. So you would first start with your arm at about a 45 degree angle away from your body. So I'll face this way first to show you. So my arm is away from my body about this much, okay? And you're gonna take your thumb, touch the ground with it, and then lift up as high as you can, just nice and easy. And do about 10 on, of these. And then you're going to um, make your palm face the, the ground and lift up. And then you finish off with your thumb up, pulling back. So that rotation happens in the hand more so in the, than in the shoulder, but it's still working that shoulder joint. Okay, you're gonna do about 10 of each of those. So that will do it for today for your rotator cuff strengthening exercises. If you have any particular problems that you want me to address, comment below and I'll see if I can't troubleshoot them for you.